You gotta believe, gotta believe in me. Okay. I love this. You know what's you know what's even better? What I really like? Is I've been out here, I don't even know what time is it. Oh, it's 313. It's 313. I've been out here for a couple hours. Hi, Mr. Squirrel! And, um, and it seems like only 10 minutes. Like, I could be out here all day. And I probably will be. So, you can see in here this bark. There's this, right? I remember. Of course, that's something that an old teacher made fun of me about, which, whatever. Um, now I know that they just didn't have the knowledge that I already foresaw. So there's actually a bug, a bug or a disease, whatever, I forget which one, that makes this pattern underneath this tree, right? Let's go a step further. That possibly is true. I mean, it is true. However, this writing, this pattern that's on this tree are codes, are codes, people. When you connect with trees and you learn about trees, get to know trees the right way with good intentions, not so you can get the knowledge and then do it to harm people. No, not that. When you do it, when you, when you have this connection with trees, you will be able to decode these things. You will be able to decode this. Nothing happens by accident. Nothing's a coincidence. Even the diseases or bugs that make patterns and things, they're codes. There are codes, okay? So, take that little bit of knowledge with your own practice or whatever it is that you do that you see patterns in. Of course, it could be my neuro, neurodivergency or um, that's so magical. I love us magical beings that can see that. So if you're a coder, a nature coder, if you can code nature, if you can read the codes from nature, I love me. Then you'll be able to get something beyond your wildest dreams from this. I guarantee you on everything. Have a great day.